Let's take a look at WordPad. WordPad is a basic word processor included in the Windows operating system. If we go to Windows Accessories, uh, we can find WordPad there, or we can type in uh, WordPad or even just Word uh, in the search uh, bar. And if we have Microsoft uh, Word, uh, that may come up instead, uh, but on this system we don't. So uh, we'll hit Enter and run WordPad. So we have a basic word processor here that we can type text in um, and do all the things we normally think we can do uh, with a word processor. So uh, if we highlight this word, we can bold it and italicize it and underline it. Uh, so as opposed to something like Notepad that doesn't have any formatting and you, you save it just as plain text. Um, so we've got lots of other features here. Um, paragraph centering or, or left alignment um, we can add pictures, we can add a, a paint drawing if we want to, so we can cl click an area um, and click on that and uh, you know add, add whatever drawing we, we want to um, and have that added to our document. So we can, we can even add pictures uh, into uh, our simple word processor here. So all these choices, I'm not going to go into detail on the ribbon here that you can choose from. Um, and you can zoom in and zoom out and, and look at uh, lots of different things here. So, uh, you know, uh, other options are Microsoft Word if you have that available or even Google Docs uh, to create uh, Word documents. Uh, interesting thing here is if we go up to the file menu and click Save As, the default is going to be a rich text document, um, which allows you to save all that formatting, but if you're really trying to produce a Microsoft Word document, uh, we can actually pick the open um, XML document uh, for Office, which is a DOCX format, so the same as uh, uh, Microsoft Word, and save it that way. Um, and then we have that document. So if you're looking to turn on an assignment in, or, or the person you're sending uh, the document to is expecting Microsoft Word, you can uh, I guess fake it uh, with WordPad. Uh, there are some other options there um, on, the, on the Save As menu, and there's two different ways you can do that. If, if you just hover over Save As, they show you all the formats. Rich text is a default. Um, essentially, Microsoft Word format uh, or Open Document format that OpenOffice uses, or we can actually save it as plain text. So if we want to remove all the formatting, uh, we can save it that way we should get a warning saying, hey, it's text only, so that picture that we tried to save there is, is not going to uh, be saved with it. Okay. Um, other stuff, a um, few interesting features in here um, that most of the stuff is on the menu. Uh, one I look at is there's a caps toggle feature that's kind of hidden from me. At least I can't see it anywhere else, but if you do shift control letter A, it will toggle between whatever you have highlighted in all caps uh, or back to the other case. So I'm hitting control shift A and then going back and forth between those two. So it's all, all caps uh, for the word I'm doing. Uh, the other thing that's, that's not real easy to find in here, I can't find it anywhere on the menu system, is how to add a table. Um, so actually kind of a strange way, in my opinion, of adding a table to uh, WordPad is using the plus symbol by a series of dashes, depending on how wide you want uh, the cells to be, uh, plus, and then the dashes in between, and let's do, we'll do three uh, columns here, and so we'll end it with a plus. When we hit the enter key, it's going to change that to uh, a table that we can add text to. Uh, so maybe column A, B, and C, and if we go, if we position our cursor right here just past the end of the cell, we can hit enter and it adds the next row. So if we were adding data in, um, we could add that in and just keep hitting enter after we're positioned past the end here and make our table uh, larger. Um, so kind of an interesting kind of couple of hidden features there. Uh, in WordPad, but um, so it's basically a simple word processor that you can use if, if you don't have uh, anything else available that might uh, do what you need for it uh, to do.